Hey everyone, King Size Customs here, and boy do I have a good one for you. I have a box of California Lowriders Series 2. As of recording this, I haven't seen anybody else do a review of California Lowriders Series 2, and I'm going to do this a little bit different than I usually do it. I'm going to actually... Uh, get these out of the package, talk a little bit about them, get them out of this box, cut them open, and then, you know, do a little uh, show and tell on them for you, get them under my lights in my photo booth, because I think that'll give you the best details. So, all right, guys, I'll see you in a second. It'll be a minute for me, but second for you. All righty? All right. Alright guys, we got some beauties in this case, so let's start with this one. We've got a beautiful Chevy Caprice Classic here, and it's got a Continental Tire Kit, as soon as that'll zoom in. So, we've got a beautiful, beautiful Monte Carlo here. So, that's awesome. We've got a car that I was very interested in. We have a 1958 Chevrolet uh, Impala SS. Or actually, I'm sorry, Chevrolet Bel Air. Which is a very pretty, pretty car. And you guys will get a better look at these once I crack them open and put them in my photo booth. We got a topless 64 Chevrolet Impala. Uh, you know, honestly, this one kind of reminds me of the Miho edition that they did, which I will pick the, I'll try to pick those up, but prices on them have skyrocketed. We've got a beautiful 64 pink Impala here. Well, actually, I'm sorry, it's red. What I like about these is Series 2 added a lot of accessories to these cars. And then this is the car I was really excited about. The Cadillac Coupe de Ville. The 72. So we got a lot of Chevrolet. And, you know, one Cadillac. I'm a little disappointed. I won't lie. But it's tempered by the fact that we've got these cool cars that have these cool uh background you know these cool accessories so let me cut these open show you what we got what we're working with here under the photo booth or uh, in the photo booth i'm sorry so under some better light all right everyone while unboxing them or cutting them open and freeing them from their plastic prisons i have noticed on one of the cars that i was kind of excited for we have a bit of an issue, and you guys will notice it as soon as you see it. But let's focus on this Caprice Classic here. I think this is pretty cool. I dig it. I can dig it. I really do like this Caprice Classic here. Um, I think the Continental wheel cover is pretty cool. Color is pretty cool too. It's a nice, like, yellow, almost like a cheddar yellow with some nice pinstriping. Wheels do it some justice. That G body grill, painted headlights, uh, lens tail lights, yada yada yada. You get the drill. You get the you get the gist of it. So sticking with Chevrolet. We've got the Monte Carlo. Pretty cool, pretty cool, and a nice, what I like to call, money green. Not really prototypical lowrider wheels, but hey, Monte Carlo kind of falls into the uh, muscle car era. Muscle car type deal. Oh. This one comes with an opening hood. I believe that's a big block V8 with the air cleaner on it. So 
Uh, super cool car. I wouldn't really consider this a low rider per se. But it's pretty awesome. All right. Next is the 64 Chevrolet Impala in a reddish pinkish color. Hold on. I just messed up my photo booth. But, uh, oh, you got a black small block here. Yeah. See if I can fix that up for you a little bit. Get it. Oh, no, it's orange. It's just the shadows being created here. So. We've got... It's more of a red color here. It looked pink inside its little plastic prison, as I call it. But that's more of a red. Reminds me a lot of, if you've played GTA San Andreas, uh, Cesar Villapando's car. Minus the Continental Tire Kit here. All right, guys, I'm going to pause the video real quick and fix my photo booth because the next one. Well, here we are, the star of the show, the the best of the best, the one that has no issues, the 63 Chevrolet Impala Lowrider in white and black convertible. And do you see it? Yeah. Quality control on this is fantastic. No back tires, and it was packaged like that. So, hey, you know, I hope they come out with the wheel and tire pack for the low riders, which they probably will. They've created enough wheels for it. Um, so, it is what it is. Still pretty cool, but now the rear really does sit very low. So, kind of gives it that stands also too with it being a chrome lipped rim with i want to say these are supposed to be hundred spoke daytons but they're black kind of makes it look like it is really a real low rider like the uh, hydraulics have been hit so all right now to my two favorites the big 72 cadillac it's beautiful uh, one thing that I thought was really cool is I ran my finger over all of the uh, all of the designs in here, the pinstriping, and that is all etched on there. So, hood does not open on this one. It looks like it would, but it doesn't. It's got the classic Vogue white walls, and I believe those are Zenith wheels. So, white interior. Painted headlights, painted ta uh, turn signals. Taillights, I believe, are painted as well because, you know, fins. But this is my favorite era of Cadillac. You know, they're getting more expensive, but I hope to do a bit of a restoration and get one when things uh, open up for me. All right, on to what I think is the star of the show. This is the 55 Chevrolet Bel Air. And I didn't see it in the box, but, or in its little plastic prison, but you have designs on the roof. You have cool designs on the sides, both sides of the car. Painted headlights, painted grill insert. Those are painted tail lights but it's really really super cool there so um it looks like a cream but it's more of a light gray in person so well all right guys that's all of these kind of sucks about my 63 the black and white one but what can you do so all righty guys i will see you in the next video let me know how you what you think about this. I believe I'm the first one to cover these. I know I am as of recording, so. And I'll take some pictures from here and get some pictures for you. Some glamour shots of each car. So, all right, guys. Have a good one. Happy holidays. I'll be having a couple more videos coming out shortly.